lubrication system consists of an oil reservoir tank, pumps, and various protective devices. Lubricating oil is pumped from the tank through a filter and heat exchanger to the crusher's oil inlet. Oil entering the crusher is pressed through the step bearing and up between the eccentric bushing and main shaft and between the bottom shell bushing and the eccentric to lubricate these bearings. An additional line carries oil to the hydroset cylinder. The oil lubricates the wearing plate and the bevel gears before running back to the tank unit by gravity. The spider bearing is lubricated with grease which is injected at preset intervals from a separate grease barrel. The hydro set system affords a rapid and convenient method for adjusting the set. When it is to be reduced, that is, the gap is to be made narrower, oil is pumped from a tank to the hydro set cylinder, thus raising the mantle to the desired position. When it is to be increased, that is, the gap is to be made wider, oil is released from the hydro set cylinder back to the reservoir tank, thus lowering the mantle to the desired position. The balanced cylinder contains a floating piston with air on one side and oil on the other. A check valve allows unrestricted flow of oil in one direction but restricts it in the other. During normal crushing, the pressure of the oil in the balanced cylinder is higher than the air pressure due to the weight of the main shaft. The floating piston rests against the bottom of the cylinder and the system is in equilibrium. When jumping occurs, the main shaft moves upward, reducing the pressure of oil under it. As the oil pressure drops, pressurized air in the balanced cylinder pushes the floating piston upward. This pushes oil into the hydroset cylinder, causing the hydroset piston to rise with the main shaft. When the condition is relieved, the pressure of the oil under the main shaft returns to normal. The check valve meters the flow of oil back into the balanced cylinder, allowing the hydroset piston to settle back to its normal operating position.